Howdy all, welcome to another episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jedi Knight. In 2015, I was paying $352 for a 25 pound case of black powder. In 2016, the cost per case went to $431. This year, the GoX brand black powder that I've been using is up to $452 per case. These price increases motivated me to hunt for a better deal. So I went on an internet search to see if I could find a less expensive brand of real black powder, as I don't use any of the substitutes. What I discovered was Graf & Sons black powder. It's made in Germany and then labeled with Graf & Sons, and it comes in at a savings of $25 per case over anything else I'd seen in my search. That's a dollar per pound savings. So I wanted to share this pricing information with you as well as give you all a look at how this product loads and shoots. I ordered a case of 2F as that's the granulation I use for both my 4440 loads and my 12 gauge loads. And I'll have a more detailed look on my loading data in a future episode of Jedi TV. For now, I just want to load up enough of this new powder for Kook and I to take to a match and give us all a feel for how it works. On this stage, I'll be shooting with Wichita Bell, whom you've all seen on the show before. The stage that we're shooting here isn't your typical single action shooting society cowboy action shooting stage. This is part of the Hawkinsville Claim Jumpers pairs match. And if you're not familiar with what they do at these matches, then I'd strongly recommend you watch our special cowboy action shooting team ups, Hawkinsville Claim Jumpers. And I'll post a link on screen here and in the video description on YouTube and another link at the end of this video too. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, how did this Graf & Sun 2F black powder work? On this stage, Bell and I have to shoot together. We start on opposite ends of the stage and at the beep with our rifles, we both shoot a progressive sweep on two targets. Now, this is very similar to the progressive or Lawrence Welk sweep that you saw Bell do on her last video. Only this time, we're doing it on two targets instead of four. One shot on the first target, two shots on the second target, then back to the first target for three shots and the final four shots on the second target. Shoot the same progressive sequence with the revolvers on the pistol targets. Move to shotgun and sweep the first four shotgun targets starting with the clay bird on the stand. Finally, with both shooters in position, one shooter, in this case it'll be Wichita Bell, knocks down the faller, which then throws a clay bird into the air that the other shooter, in this case me, must blast out of the air. Seems simple enough. So let's see how this Graf & Sun 2F black powder performs in my rifle and shotgun. Let's take a look. Okay, hands on your hat when you're ready. Ready there, ready here, stand by. Whenever you're ready, Bell. As you can see, and as I expected, Graf and Sons 2F black powder performed just as well as any of the other black powder I've used for cowboy action shooting, from Kick to Diamondback to Go X and others. In fact, this black powder performed well enough that Wichita Bell and I managed to come in second place overall at this pairs match, and that was right behind the first place team of Camp Hag and Purgatory Smith, both of whom you all are familiar with. So I hope you got some useful information out of this episode 
If you did, then please let me know by clicking that like button on YouTube. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Jedi TV for more great Wild West infotainment. And if you're looking for black powder for shooting in any of the single action shooting societies, frontier cartridge categories, then head on over to Graf and Sons and pick some up. Be sure to tell them Jedi TV sent you. I'm Jedi Knight, and I'll see you on the range.